it's another vlog vlog this one is from july 23rd 2020 um so a little over a year ago and it's at animal kingdom let's get to it we are in animal kingdom It is currently pouring. <laughs> what sources and drought patterns is essential to the world's well being? It's the matriarch is killed by poachers. This part of our other reserve that we just headed into is the Little Literary Forest. Animals in the forest do have camouflage, which enables them to hide out pretty good. So you gotta look a little bit. If you look over to the right, though, you see. Showing off those awesome stripes there, that is the eye of this watering hole here. You'll see a black rhino there in there. The black rhinos are generally solitary and nocturnal. <laughs> so nap time sounds like a good idea. Their range does reach quite a bit. Check, check out this tree over here on the right. One of the more unique trees that you find out here. It's called baobab tree. It's also known as an upside down tree. That's because it looks like it's got its roots coming right out the top. They're also known as a Watusi cow. That's after the Watusi tribe, which first domesticated them about 2,000 years ago. And they are the only domesticated species found out in the reserve because they generally live side by side with wildlife. So they're right at home out here with all the other animals. Their horns reach lengths of three to four feet each. Yeah, because they're blood very own personal air conditioner there. Another species that's a female in the front, followed by a male. The females only weigh about 1,250 pounds. That male right there weighs about 2,000 pounds. Stands about six feet tall, measured from the shoulders on down. He's actually quite a bit larger than those cattle. The zebras are commonly found amongst wildebeest here, the great horned herd. Those are white bearded wildebeest. And the little beast is one of the animals best known for its migration. So not every herd is going to migrate. Um, of course, the tastiest grasses and leaves out here are those that you could eat from the middle of the road. But this is a Maasai giraffe. They get their name from the region of Africa where they're found at. Well, we're much good to eat if you can check out that tongue, sort of a bluish blackish color. That pigmentation helps to prevent sunburn since it spends so much time with that tongue exposed, wrapping it around the leaves. Oh, obviously, I don't like it. Oh. I can get back in the road where you guys can go. They're about 12 to 15 years old. Not a really big elephant there, so probably recently left the herd. You can see another view of those springbok over to the right. Now the elephants will actually knock over trees and sort of get to the wild. I thought you were saying eyeliner. I was like, well, maybe a little over two months old. And as you can see, when they're first afterwards, it's going to take them at least 15 to 20 minutes. <laughs> Please let me know, Papa Molly. I'm not buying you anything if you're acting like a brat. 25 minutes, and we just got off of Flight of Passage, and we didn't do it just once. We did it twice in a row, which was crazy, because like, if the park was normal, you'd be lucky to just even get on it, but we got on it twice, back to back. Like, that's crazy, and so much fun. It's a chip <laughs> Cute. Uh, they will reach about four feet in height, and as you can see when they're 
are first born, they are not pink, they are gray. They're gonna get their So whenever you see a group of cheetahs in this area, if they're together, uh, that means that they are sisters, so they're about... They're gonna sleep and rest for about 20 hours during the daytime. And it's actually the females who will go out at night to do the hunting. The male will stay back with the rest of the pride to protect them. Mm-hmm. <laughs>